Hello, I'm MPX Slickamp, welcome back to Seed Sunday. This is the Sometimes Willy series around my channel. It shows seeds for Minecraft, which are particularly interesting and worth checking out in some way. And today I have one of these rare Minecraft PlayStation 4 seeds for you. I know these tend to be a little bit fewer and further between than the Minecraft Bedrock seeds, but it's something I do want to do from time to time, especially since it is the last remaining console edition, uh, you know, that does still work. And given that I started Seed Sunday in this platform, it seems fair to come back here every now and then, because the craziest things only exist in Minecraft console edition. Bedrock has a lot of really interesting things where things merge in ways you wouldn't expect, but Minecraft Console Edition also has some different rules which leads to stuff like this happening. That's right, this is a real thing next to spawn, and from here you can't even get the you know, proper view of it. It looks like, oh, is that like an especially big uh, wooden mansion? I mean, you could say that, or looking at it closer, you can see how two wooden mansions generally manage to merge, which is some absurdly unlikely chance on any other platform. It's pretty much impossible and has never been seen anywhere else, but here it is in Minecraft PlayStation 4, alongside a seed which is pretty interesting for other reasons anyway, so in today's video I'm going to be showing it off bit by bit and hopefully you all do enjoy. If you want to see the seed, it's going to be on screen right now as oh, we'll put it in rainbow text again because why not? Uh, if you type in this seed, which came in from Jessica Clark on Twitter, then you should get yourself, with, uh, by the way, with classic and small because you're on PlayStation 4, you have to use uh, particular settings, you'll spawn in like this. So the thing about Minecraft Console Edition, which makes it the polar opposite of Bedrock, is that all of the seeds have intensely different sized biomes. Here is the size of a planes biome in Minecraft Console, and it's actually a pretty big planes biome. Let me find a better example. Here is the size of a spruce biome in Minecraft Console Edition. Let me show you a spruce biome in Minecraft Bedrock. Little bit of a different size right there, right? And especially because the small, medium, large size biome, even the largest biomes you can get in Minecraft Console just aren't quite as big, and it leads to some pretty interesting things, where these small biomes, which, you know, can spawn in very good places next to each other, lead to some pretty great stuff, such as right here, for instance, you've got some spruce trees above the regular oak village, or the regular plains village, so you get some, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of weird, like, what's that doing? It's going into the wrong place. Uh, you also get, like, this huge lava pit which is like expanding a little bit into the village so all it takes is a couple wrong burns and suddenly your whole village is gone i like that personally i kind of want I, I like the idea of a whole village burning down but the thing you're all here to see is the craziest thing which is to the north instead so like i said the south is pretty crazy because you get this nice mixture of biomes with a village with a big burning hole with some big caves with some big you know everything's nice to the south of the seed however the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to the north so i've shown off a double wooden mansion seed before in minecraft console however the thing about it is is that a lot of people are like, oh, it's like a solid 300 blocks away. Who can make that distance to see something this epic? So, uh, to answer all of those people, this is the answer for you all, because it's a double wooden mansion, which is spawned that close to where you, you know, again, if you type in the seed, you'll land right over there. You're literally this close to the wooden mansion. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about why this is so insane, because it's not just a double wooden mansion. It's two, okay, if you want to see this as two separate ones, you can see the dividing line right here, where one kind of ends and another begins. Again, it's really, really, really messy. It looks like it's been, you know, badly modded in, but as you already know, I, in Minecraft PlayStation 4, you can't download maps straight to there. You can kind of do it via PlayStation 3, but I don't have a PlayStation 3. You can check my uh, my PSN account history if you really want to. Uh, it's IBX Toy Cat, by the way. But the thing is, um, is somehow this managed to just spawn right next to, uh, or, or right you know, on top of really the other one, because some of this wooden mansion has gone missing, and it means you get, functionally speaking, 1.9 or so wooden mansions, because almost all of that one exists, and then right next to it, all of this one exists. And the size of this is really pretty intense, because look at these Z coordinates right here. The Z's goes all from 70, all the way up, you know, past 170 to 200 and, you know, almost 210. So 205, which gives you 135 blocks of Willem Mansion on the Z-axis. You might say, well, I mean, 135 blocks is a lot, but, like, why is that so intense? Bear in mind, from an 864 size world, we'll do the maths on screen, uh, but it's, I believe it's roughly a seventh of your world's height, is spent just on Woodland Mansions. A seventh of the distance. You could have a never, it would take you, if you had a never portal here and a never portal there, that would be the fastest way to get across this. You'd have to, you know, never distance it, that is the insanity of the scale of these will have mentions. And uh, yeah, the fact that this can, uh, the reason this can only happen on PlayStation is because of the fact that on console, you get much higher chances of seeing stuff like will have mentioned stuff. This is why I'm excited for the aquatic update, uh, incidentally, but you have much higher chances of finding things like these will have mentions because you have to. The worlds are so much smaller, but because the chance is so much higher, sometimes that chance just goes a little bit more lucky and you find two right next to each other. And in case you think, okay, well that's, that's cool, you found two next to each other. Well, 
what's so crazy about the rest of it? Well, first of all, it's the fact that they actually go above water. Again, this is much, much less common. It's a rarity uh, if it can even exist on the other platforms. Uh, you know, Bedrock, it kind of can. But this actually goes mostly over not the, you know, the the, <laughs> the uh, roof forest, the, the dark oak, uh, you know, places. Because although the very entrance is in one of those, most of this is over water. Look at this right here. This is a wooden mansion, which is just on the water. So it goes right down to stuff right there. And then some of it is in the desert. It is a desert double Woodland Mansion, the insanity, the amount of things that can be found inside, the just it's it's one of the craziest things you can see in your Minecraft world. And on top of being, you know, okay, so it's a double Woodland Mansion, mostly not inside the right biome, mostly above, sorry, partly above water, partly with access to other stuff, partly divided down the middle of this huge rift, because you can see it from pretty much anywhere where you could just go in from one side to the other, like break through the windows and connect them up. This huge rift in it as well, it's pretty intense. But what, you know, like that's, that's a nice seed in a way, I appreciate that. But it's, you know, it's, it's maybe not the best thing in the world, but it's next to spawn as well. And if that's still not enough for you, if you're still somehow skeptical, one, you need to reset your expectations because otherwise, like, you know, literally everything in the world you try is going to disappoint you. But two, uh, good news, there's other good things coming. So first of all, we have a desert temple, which is found just over here. And the desert temple is mostly buried this close to the <laughs> mansions. Like, this, you know, even though there's two of them right there, there's a desert temple this close. And in case you're like, whoa, what's, what's one desert temple anyway? I don't care about desert temples. Again, going to have to tell you to reset your expectations. Clearly, you've got something very confusing going on. But then there is a second one just as close on the other side. And in, in case, again, you just keep saying that, the one I'm, I'm going to say that, you know, clearly you can never be satisfied. And two, as well as having two desert temples that close to the two little mansions, which are that close to spawn, there is also a village connected to this desert temple. The, <laughs> the odds of all of those insane things happening together, it's almost impossible to imagine, but I don't know why I keep saying land cable not connected. I imagine it's because there's no land cable connected, but the odds of all of that happening, it's just, it's just intense to really think about. So, uh, yeah, the seed, it doesn't just end there though, because it's a pretty great seed for all of those reasons, but it does also have a few other things. It almost seems like they're not worth mentioning, like, but as always in Seed Sunday, you know, compared to that, but as always in Seed Sunday, I also like to show you the other things which are particularly notable, and like I say at the start of every video, worth checking out in some way. So we've got some more villages, because, you know, having two villages, two desert temples, two willow mansions, that's nice, but what if it was four villages? So we got a village over here as well, uh, I believe there's another village in the desert, and then there's another village found at the very, by the way, there's a uh, a blacksmith, but let's let's not focus too much on that one. Uh, but yeah, then you can also see over here at the top We've got ourselves another village. So w wow. W what do you know about that? We got we got two villages right at the edge of the world both kind of together So you can almost see you know the run distance isn't that great But you can almost see from one to the other you can see from the midpoint both of them Which I think is amazing like you could do some weird nonsense have like a water edge village or expand your world Maybe again, y y there's ideas for you right there and then also uh, just in case you know that, that's also great but there's, there's only one more thing you need. It's another wooden mansion. So just to show you one wooden mansion for scale, just to really drive this one home, here is a wooden mansion. Here's a regular size one, or a, a pretty big one actually. Like, as you can see, they're big. This one is interesting too, because it goes into a extreme hill biome. So you can see how it like digs into the surface. It's interesting stuff, but you can see the size of a wooden mansion. It's, it's pretty big. Let me go back now and really drive home what makes this seed so darn insane. Because as you go back to the spawn, you go back to the uh, the insane thing brown right there, you realize that yes, in fact, uh, to give you the, uh, the the maths on this one, that is one wooden mansion, and this is two wooden mansions together, giving the total size being roughly double the previous one. So hopefully uh, explaining that two wooden mansions is double as big as one, you now appreciate the full, <laughs> the full scale of this. But no, this is one of the craziest things I've ever seen, and I wanted to share it with all of you. Minecraft PlayStation 4, the seeds are still being found to this day, and that's why uh, I'm, I'm still going to be looking forward to the aquatic update to T67, because, uh, you know, finding weird stuff like this is just going to get even more and more common, and that's one of the great things about console edition, because the biomes are so tiny. Seriously, look at the size of some of these biomes. This is a, you know, this is a roof forest biome right here. This this whole thing, that's a roof forest. This is a, a plains biome. This is a beach biome. Look at this swamp. It, there is a swamp with one tree found over here. There's a lot of other weird similar stuff you can find across your Minecraft worlds. And uh, that's something amazing about Minecraft PlayStation 4 that can never really be taken away and that you can always keep enjoying. So if you haven't joined the Minecraft Bedrock side of things, that's fine. I, again, I, I appreciate you for staying around the channel. I do recommend you, you give it a, a check out. You maybe try on your Windows 10, your Android, your whatever else device. But if you do just play Minecraft PlayStation 4, then the good news for you is there are still some insanities that only you can enjoy. You know, isn't it nice when you know only you can have something? I think actually that's like... 
half the point of marriage, right? You know, maybe maybe we're diving too deep into the co basic concepts that define our society right now. So maybe that's a good uh, point for us to say thank you very much for watching today's video. Like it if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and I'll see you all in another Seed Sunday, maybe in another day. Goodbye.